today our topic is image image for nation so image can be formed by the concave lens conca- convex lens and the plane mirror for example if i take the example of the plane mirror okay i am taking here the example of plane mirror so if i say tell you that go in the like the normal mirror that are at your home so the image of you and the mirror will be the same like see how so you are standing near the mirror and the object image means your image object image will be equal to the um mirror image right like see it's a normal example uh you are at like your home and checking like watching in the mirror so your you consider yourself as a object and the mirror image so both will be equal and object height object height and mirror image height will be equal so it's the uh, property of the normal mirror uh, if i would say that uh, the properties can be height it can be height and it can be virtual so these were the like the features of the normal mirror the plane mirror so the image that is being formed in the plane mirror will be equal to the object image like your take your example that's the simple one now talking about the concave so basically what is concave and convex these are the formation of the spherical mirrors these both are known as spherical mirror spherical mirror what are spherical mirrors spherical mirrors are of two type concave and convex so today we're going to discuss about concave okay okay so let me clear you one thing about the plane mirror that like uh, the plane mirror the property of the plane mirror is that the image will form first image formation will be first then the light rays will be like uh, image will be drawn first okay then the light rays will be there okay then light rays light will so this was the property of the plane mirror now talking about the concave mirror so for that we need to first understand the uh, image formation how the image is formed image formation there is a scale that you need to remind uh, remember sorry this is a scale from 1 uh, like from 0 it will be called the center of the mirror and while going towards at 3 uh, that will be f that is focus and at 6 it will be pole of the mirror like c for center of the mirror p a f for focus and p is for pole this line is known as principal axis okay so for the formation of the concave image we are having four rules let us discuss we are going to discuss four rules of concave in this video so number first rule is that i am just telling you the statement and drawing the diagram that the ray of the light is uh, like plane to the principal okay principal axis so let us draw that this is the concave lens let me draw the principal axis here this is a principal axis this is the center point 
this is the focus point and this is the principal point actually principal point occur here but i did a mistake sorry for that so the ray of the light is parallel to the principal light this is the principal light and the ray of the light that is coming is parallel to the principal light so you can see the principal axis is there and the uh, ray of the light both are parallel after reflection passes through focus the reflection will occur and passes through focus this is the first rule means the light will be parallel to the principal axis after then after reflection it will be passes through the focus so this was the first rule okay now going toward the second rule that is the ray of let me draw the diagram here first okay so the recognition or the identity of the concave lens is like a spoon have you seen that the the morphology of the your spoon is about like in a this shape this shape like this shape so this is concave p this is the principal axis so what is the diagram uh, like uh, what's the second rule it's telling you about the ray of the light passing through the center curvature like this this is the center right the light is passing here this is the convex uh, sorry for that this is the like the light is passing through the center and reflected back along the same line same path so the light is coming the light ray is coming this is being like passing through the center of the curvature and then reflecting back in the same path this is called sorry this is called the second row so why the ray like uh, why this happen you must be thinking the why this happen so let me clear this this is happen because the ray of the light is passing perpendicular like see perpendicular that is ab you must be thinking that the light is coming then why it is going back in the same path the reason is why when the light is falling normally so that uh, per, uh, normally but perpendicular to the mirror this is the concave mirror we know that so it is coming and it is reflecting back along the same path but why we need to understand that so by this this perpendicular angle is showing that uh, the light will be coming and reflecting along the same path light is coming it is like normally falls on the mirror perpendicular mirror that is why it is going back so i hope this is clear going towards the third rule let me make the diagram of the concave lens so the third rule says that the ray of the light passing through the focus wait c focus and p for okay so the light of the ray ray light will be passing through the focus this focus will be coming here passing through the focus then become parallel to the axis this is the principal axis and it will be parallel in the parallel in the parallel form so this is known as the third fourth rule like the focus uh, the light ray will be coming to the focus focus uh, after then after the reflection it will become parallel to principal axis like see parallel parallel to the so this was the third rule okay now going towards the fourth rule okay let me tell you that this rule is quite opposite to the first rule you can see why it is like uh, the it is parallel but to the focus line it is like uh, it is parallel to the ray of the light and here it is parallel to the reflected light ray of the light is coming was parallel to the principal light but here the reflected parallel is equal to the uh, 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 principal axis so it is like quite anti parallel to rule 1 rule 3 i'm now see what rule 4 says so rule 4 says 
that rule 4 says that the ray of the light which is indicated at the pole indicated at the pole of a concave mirror here the ray of the light here will be coming to a concave mirror and is reflected back back same in making the same angle here reflected back the ray of light is coming to the uh, what do we say uh, concave mirror yes this is a concave mirror the ray of light is coming and reflecting back to the same angle it is created at the same angle on the principal axis so this angle and this angle will be equal as we know that we have studied law of reflection where the angle of incidence will be angle uh, equal to the angle of reflection angle of incident is equal to the angle of reflection what this is saying let me clear it more that the ray of the light which is incident will be coming at the concave mirror then reflecting back the same angle that will be known as this shows that law of reflection that's it these were the four rules